Hi everyone, Richard here with a G Suite tutorial. So yesterday I posted a video on the concept of creating an internal add-on for managing approval workflows. So today I actually deployed one in my Google Certified Trainer domain. So this is an internal domain uh, add-on for Google Sheets. It's just called Approve Now. And I'm picking this up from the point where a teacher, um, teacher two in this case, has just submitted a field trip request form and it has landed in my inbox as the supervisor. So I want to kind of review uh, a little bit of the, the template and demonstrate the process because I've added a few features to it that weren't in the previous video. And then I'll go into uh, the some of the technical explanation of how this is happening. So um, if I'm the administrator, I would see this notification um, coming from the account where Autocrat is running. So the reason this is me is I've set up Autocrat on my account. In most cases, you'll likely have a, an institutional account, either you know related to school forms or whatnot, but um, it's probably not good practice to do this uh, within your own account connected to a person. But in, for demonstration purposes, I've done it in my account. So I open the message, and it says, please review the attached field trip request. I'm going to go ahead and open it. So you'll notice that um, here's a Google Sheet where a form has dumped a lot of data into this uh, field trip summary sheet. So there's lots of key data about the date, the destination, um, who's kind of the main contact person and their phone number, um, departure time, if a bus is needed, um, um, so that, and all that information. So down here at the bottom, there's a place for me to approve this document uh, after I've read through it all. Now. It would take a really long time to kind of just type in my message and send emails and add all that stuff to the calendar. Whereas now with this add-on, I can simply open up the add-on and go up to Approve Now and select Field Trip. Uh, now this will automatically find my signature uh, and digitally add it to the Google Sheet with a timestamp. Send an email to Teacher2 saying that the field trip uh, request has been approved and it will also add the event to the calendar with an attachment to the summary sheet so and that all happens very very quickly so I'm gonna go ahead and click approve now and I'm choosing the field trip and again just to reiterate you could have multiple workflows for field trips the uh, leave requests um, you know, permission slips of sorts, so on and so forth, built out of this exact same add-on. So this is just the first one I've added. I'm going to click Field Trip. So it's kind of small, but you can see Signature has been added. There's a timestamp. If, if we check the date here, so this is April 20th. So if we go ahead in our Field Trip calendar to... April 20th. Here it is. We see the Cherry Blossom Festival excursion. I can click on it and note there's a hyperlink to the summary sheet. So this is very helpful for bus drivers and anyone going on the trip to have quick uh, access to the summary sheet um, directly from the calendar app, which is also available through the a mobile device. Um, so you have quick access that way to see the details regarding a, a field trip summary. So I've done that. By doing that, I'll receive another uh, notification saying that, confirming that the field trip summary sheet, that confirming that this has been approved. So that's my receipt saying, yes, I did sign on to this. And Teacher2 has also gotten a confirmation that uh, the field trip has been approved. Um, so we've, we've kind of 
did all we needed to do to sort of write this in stone into the school calendar and say that we're going to do this. So technically, how is this happening? Well, step one is to create what I like to call the, the signature bank. So here you would basically add all of your users who you would consider to have privileges to approve workflows at your school. And then next to their username, you'd want a uh, URL to an image file of their signature. So that's what this is. And this is actually shared out to a group that I've called administrators. So I would put anyone in this list in this group, because this group comes in handy uh, in other places as well. So another place you would like to share that group is on the calendar where you would be adding events to. So the field trip calendar, if we look at the sharing settings, I've also shared the calendar with that group as well. So they can make changes to events. And then in my uh, add-on, there is, I, I've set it up to share access to the approval, approve now add-on only to members of that group. So that's, those are three places that it's important to organize your users into one group and so they can have access to the needed resources to do this. So the code itself is fairly straightforward. It's less than 100 lines in total. Um, again, the first part here is literally just setting up uh, the uh, adding the custom menu to the add-on menu, or adding the, the function. So if we were to add another item here, we could say leave request form and then identify the function, and that would be located somewhere along the bottom here. So, But right now, this only consists of the signed field trip function. So the first part is identifying who is currently viewing the field, the field trip summary sheet, so which approver is actually looking at it. Um, and that's what this part of the function is going to identify uh, via the code here. If we, as we move further down, um, this is actually working off of the, the field trip summary sheet. So we've left, this is the signature bank up here. We've left the signature bank. Now we're looking at the active spreadsheet, which would be the field trip summary sheet. And you'll notice specific cell values are um, identified here. So um, we've predetermined via Autocrat what data will land in those specific cells. So that's why we can be quite certain of what data we're collecting in these cells. So here, for example, is uh, B16. We're setting the value of the email signature. So we've, we've collected the email signature here based on the active user, and then we're using the uh, set value and then the image function to actually place that image within that cell. And as we move further down, again, we're just collecting values from the spreadsheet based on where we decided to put them. Um, and of course, here we're adding, we're giving viewing rights uh, to the person who is requesting uh, the, the field trip. And then we're transitioning away from that summary sheet to the calendar. So here we've identified the calendar ID for the field trip calendar, and we've hard-coded that into the code. And then we've created the start and end times and if this looks a little different to you, it's because we've had to enable the advanced uh, calendar services in order to add uh, Google Doc attachments. So under resources, I went to advanced Google services, and I, be, I was be sure I was sure I was sure to enable the um, the calendar here as well as in the Google API console. And then 
at the bottom is where we just simply send the confirmation message telling um, the user that uh, the field trip, and this is the name of the document, so that it has been approved. So that's where this stands right now. I will um, link maybe, I'll figure out how to share this uh, snippet of code for you to play with. Um, in the description of this YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Bye.